Hello, Libra. Welcome to your reading. All right, let's see. Let's see what we have for you coming out. All right. All right, okay, they like you. They like you a lot. They like you a lot. I had to drop this card. Yep. Some, they like you. They like you a lot. The trumpet sounds. I, okay, so you're going to be getting like some type of... You're going to be getting some type of sign or getting some type of clear seeing a clear sign that a person likes you all right somebody likes you um the trumpet sound here so this is could be some type of exposing um exposing of a person's true feelings or true colors also you got to fall in for the bs you or somebody around you is definitely falling for something okay and we also have monitor your health and um lurking stalking and watching here all right so they like you you got they like you romance okay so this is some type of romantic wow i love me so the more the more that you love yourself the more that this person loves like you we admire you so i feel like the more you pour into yourself the more another person pours into you i know that sounds cliche but it is like the law of the universe so i do feel like that you are kind of getting the hang of like self-love self-care and you're pouring more into yourself therefore there's other people that's pouring more into you let's see what this the trumpet sound what is this trumpet sounding? Okay, clear your energy. All right, so the trumpet is definitely going to be showing you that um, there's a need for you to clear your energy, um, showing you the truth of the situation. It's like clearing out the smoke, clearing out the smoke and mirrors and actually showing you where you are. You are on the right path and there's some type of good credit. So you put in some type of good work. You have some, some good... Um, People have a lot of good things to say. You left a lot of good impressions on a lot of people in this journey, in this path. So there's a need for you to clear your energy. So I do feel like that there's this energy where you could be doubting yourself. You could be downplaying yourself. All right. Tell me more about falling for the BS. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So divine timing here. Good news. Good news. Just ask me. There's some type of good news happening in money. All right, falling for the BS, divine timing. How could you fall for the BS if something is divine timing? Mm. I do feel like that something was divine timing for you when it comes to career and something that actually poses as some type of good news. And I do feel like this energy of just, just ask me comes from either your higher self um, it's a very, very intelligent part of yourself that's like, I know the real reason as, as to why this had to happen or why something was like um, divine intervention at the moment. So just ask me why, why I intervened. Or for some of you guys, there's something that you do need to meditate on. Um, but I do feel like you could be falling for the BS that something was not good for you or something was not aligned with you when actually something was very very divine actually this was divine intervention this god himself intervened so something that was very very um very divine for you tell me more about monitor your health that health card has been coming up make sure you guys are detoxing make sure you're taking your supplements all right you have reminiscing reminiscing monitor your health reminiscing all right hard work okay so so you are remembering how well you used to do something or how not so this is you you know how like let's say you've been working out and let's say you're like okay i'm gonna go on a run and usually you always stop at the mailbox or at the second block of the you know second complex of your neighborhood or second neighborhood and this time you're going all the way around. You you did no stops. This is going to make you monitor. Wow, I can now run faster. Now let's take that and put that into like a not so. Let's take it into a negative when you see your health declining. 
let's say you used to run, you used to be able to at least get to get four blocks down. Now you're stopping and you're out of breath at two. This is a mental reminder that you're going to monitor and be like, okay, wow, I'm getting, my health is depreciating or my stamina is depreciating or something like that. I do feel like that that's that energy that's coming out. There's something that you've been either working really, really hard or you've been working hard to improve something or you have been having a whole lot of bad habits stack up to decline something. Either way, it took a lot of hard work for you to do this. So I do feel like that there could be some type of energy there could be some type of energy where you are, um, I feel like this health is improving. Missing the same sign. You, I feel like you could be missing a sign of how your health is improving or for some of you guys. Now, tell me more about st stalking, lurking, watching. Lurking, stalking, watching. Everything got to fall on the floor. Okay, giving. Hmm. Going out for a drink. Don't stop. Okay, somebody is watching you and they're watching you like, you know how they say giving? Okay, so they're watching you in your best, your best light. So, basically, a person is seeing all the highlights of your story that you would want them to see. Um, you know how sometimes we think that people see us in the worst positions possible? That's just not true. They're not seeing us in those positions at all. All right, so first thing we'll go into this, this romance. They like you. They like you a lot because you like you, and they want a person that likes themselves. I, I'm, I don't know why I always come on here and do this, but... Y'all know me by now. Sometimes in relationships, people will try you. And nobody wants a person who don't like themselves. Um, Y'all know I like to read. I'm a, I'm a, a bookworm. And I think I might do a book club. Like, I'm, I want to stop saying it and just be about it 2024. So, <laughs> um, in The Art of Seduction, they talk about the repellent. The repellent. Um, the people who have the repellent personalities. And I couldn't wait to get to that part so I can like rub out any part of me that was kind of repellent. And one of the biggest things is a person who shows desperation, highly desperation, where, you know, when a person allows somebody to treat them any type of way and they're not going to put their foot down, they're not going to say anything. It's just like, yeah, I deserve it. Or they don't have any type of self-love. It looks like, you know how, you know the saying where, this person is treating me like I don't got nobody out here that love me. Well, that's how, well, this is the, this energy where a person allows a person to treat them like they don't love themselves, like they don't have, like they don't basically know what love is. So I felt that's like one of the most repellent personalities in seduction. So if you're ever trying to seduce a person, and then I was just reading the energy of um, money the other day. It's a cute little book. I really, really like that book. Um, a nice read that you can read, like, just in your morning. Just really, really nice. It probably write, like, 50 pages, if if 50. Um, so I was watching, and he was um, kind of interviewing a lot of guys who pick up artists, a lot of guys who picked up a lot of women. And these guys, they did not, they weren't the most handsome. They didn't have the most money. But one thing about them is they believed that they were, like, the shit. And they all had to go into their their inner child because they they didn't they weren't brought up that way. They had to fix their stuff as adults. So something it doesn't have it's an energy that you carry. If you are perceived or you are out there like you are overly desperate, like you're overly going to do, you're overly going to whatever do for a person, you are just not going to be valued just not going to be valued and um i was just watching this thing it was about how what men do when they um the people who they first that woman that's accessible to the woman that's not everybody wants the woman that's not 
accessible to everybody instead of the woman that's just this person knows that if anybody comes along this person will be that for anybody i'm not special it doesn't make that person feel special and everybody wants to feel special doesn't make the man feel like the prize if if it, if it wasn't you it would have been joe and uh, john and and whoever it would have been all of these other people it's there needs to be some type of where oh this person don't usually, or this person don't, or this person, like, high commodity. And I do feel like because you carry yourself that type of way, <laughs> this person likes you a whole lot. A whole, whole, whole lot. Let's see what's coming out. Okay, so there was a little bit of drama around this situation. There could have been some drama, conflicts, or whatever the hell. But whatever happened in this relationship, this person really, really loved the fact that you didn't play about you. Okay? That you basically put in... That whatever you did, it exuded to them that, no, they really love themselves. They're not desperate. They even may have somebody who loves them too because that's how you behaving. You behaving like you got somebody to love you. They even may have somebody that loves them too. Matter of fact, this person may, you know, there may be some type of competition going on. So it, it almost put, puts you like a prize. Okay, so there may be somebody fighting over this energy. This is not somebody who's just desperate trying to pick the lowest, you know, the lowest hanging food or fruit or whatever fruit happens to fall that day. It's mine. So this is a person who has some type of confidence. This is a person who holds their head high. This is a person who's not going to let everybody get them in a certain type of space. This is a person who loves themselves. This is a person who treats themselves as the priority. This is the person who has not forgotten that they are the prize here in this situation. So now this person, look at this person looking. All right, so now this person is looking at you and they're like, whoa. You have the hangman. This is how this person is looking at you. Now, I feel like I don't know what a person has done. There was some type of bold move that you did that made this person look at you like, you know what? Maybe I was sleeping on Libra just a little bit. Somebody is looking at you as this queen of wands. Or for some of you guys, this is this person who the more and more that you kind of show yourself respect you you respect yourself you love yourself it makes a person look at you like this queen of wands very very physically attracted to this person even more attracted so i do feel like if there's some type of um drama that went on in a relationship it's kind of given like there was some type of separation or if you found you found yourself in a position in a relationship where you had to go another way where you had to move another way that that looked good. That looked good for you. All right, so now this person is the Knight of Swords coming in, and they're trying to do whatever they can to kind of, like, get back in, or they're trying to move quickly because they realize... I do feel like that there was a person who could have just been sleeping. You had to remind them of who you were, all right? So now this person is 100% open, and they want to let you know exactly how it is that they feel. You have justice coming right in your favor. You see this? Justice coming right in your favor with this love offer because you know what? This love offer is open. This love offer is tender. This love offer is 100% vulnerable. So this brings a lot of energy coming in from a person who... So self-love makes a person with a hidden agenda shows you their open agenda. So there was a person who was coming in with a very, very hidden agenda, feeling like that they, they had to hide things, feeling like that they had to put pull the wool over your eyes in certain certain areas so you wouldn't know. But just how much you love you and just how much you didn't... For some of you guys, this is a dating a person where, that had these crazy terms and conditions and whatever, and you say, you know what, this is not going to work for me at all. And you can go do whatever it is that you want to do. And that energy kind of is like, okay, well, who the hell do they think that they're talking to? Or who the hell, you know, it kind of makes them look at you completely differently. Sometimes you do have to put your foot down when it comes to a relationship. All right. Tell me more about um, the trumpets and clear your energy. Yes, you have the Knights of Pentacles. So, no doubt, something has been a very, very long journey. Something has been a very long journey, but all of it is leading up to your victory. 
Okay, so right now you are starting off in very, very new territory, a new foundation. When I see the four of wands, this lets me know that a tower, the, the big old house had fallen down. And this is you kind of building off of the new things that you are learning today and unlearning. You're trying to build some new ground, build a new foundation. So I kind of see something building up. Um... And there's a need for you to clear your energy because there is this transformation that's coming. Also, I am, there's an invitation that could be coming towards you. Wow, with the judgment card again, with the trumpets blowing right now. So there's an invitation that could be coming towards you that's strictly from the angels. Um, this is like a celebration for all of your hard work and also some type of mental transformation or spiritual transformation that you've embarked on. Because something was a, a longer travel. Like I do feel like you could have chosen a long road. Like the, the road that you chose was a very, very long one. And you do have the seven, not the seven, the nine of wands. Um, which lets me know that th there was wars. There was a lot that she was going through. Um, it took a lot for you to stay here. There were scars. And the road was long. Like, like I'm thinking about like a person who needs an ambulance. The whole, the whole point of an ambulance is to get there quick. Now, pic picture yourself wounded and hurt. But and then in order to get to some type of doctor safety, there's a long ass route to get there. Some people will be like, you know what, I, I give up. I'm just, because it's no way. I might die on the way. But then you're like, you know what? If death is inevitable, I may die, die standing still or die moving. I'm, I'd rather die in motion. So for some of you guys, it's, it's just, die is like spiritual or energetically. Whereas it's like quitting. If I stay here, I know if I'm going to quit. But I'd rather quit if I'm going to quit or if I'm going to, something's not going to work out or maybe I'm going to fail. I'd rather fail in motion. I can fail just by quitting. And I can fail in motion just by putting my all to it and it may, it may not be measuring up or something. But it's so much experience that I learn on the way. You also have the magician. There's some type of hard work that you do. I feel like the magician, you're working together with another person or there's some tools that you get and now you're working together with another person. I do feel like that there's a collaboration that's happening. There's a lot of details that's hidden about something. Maybe somebody doesn't have all the details, but I do feel like there is a collaboration that could be happening here. All right, tell me more about falling for the BS. Look at that. So you are falling for the BS and something was divine timing for you i'm getting like that there was a relationship or something that was divine timing something was very very divine it happened at a nice time you do have the world card here and you have the oh the four of swords in reverse so this is you opening up the door to a whole bunch of anxiety because you fell for the bs and the bs was that something was not divine something was if it's not divine, then then you're thinking that this is like um, the enemy, devil, satanic or something. Dark magic. Like somebody sent you a person from hell and you fell in love with them and they sent you to rob, rob you or, or whatever type of colorful stories that you made up in your mind. Or somebody robbed you of this opportunity when really there was there, there was time for you to grow. It was time for you to grow into this next experience. And so you're you're putting all the blame on the well, this person robbed me from this opportunity when really it was just times up on this opportunity. And had it not had 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 um spirit not used or orchestrated using this person, it would have been another person. I do feel like that there is some type of reconciliation. There is something that's here. Um there's a need for you to trust and not overthink. So you're overthinking a lot of things and you're not trusting, not trusting enough. Yeah, you feel like something is the seven of swords instead of something working for you. So there could be some type of reconciliation that you feel like this could be a repeat offender or this could be something, but something is very, very divine. It's divine timing that's taking place here. All right, so we have the, there's a lot of hidden knowledge or hidden secrets
or they could have possibly been I think you're confused as to whether a person or something is ready for you now. I do feel like that this is why you feel like something wasn't divine because you could feel like you put all your hopes into something and something could have blew up in your face. So now something is coming to you and you're like, okay, it's ready now. You're confused. You don't, you don't know the validity of that statement, whether a person is truly ready because you're like, okay, I trusted before and it wasn't truly ready. And now I'm supposed to trust again and got this Empress energy. There's a the Empress energy lets me know that there's a lot of feelings and emotions somewhere with the person. But yes, look at that. This is a return on your investment. This is divine timing. This is something that you're able to get. Tell me more about monitor your health with reminiscing. Let's see. Okay, so we do have something is going on with the person's heart. All right, something is going on with your heart. All right, it's given that you know something. Okay, so 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 something is better. So there's something, or breathing lungs. So I feel like the person can hold their breath longer. Maybe you're singing and you realize you can hold you can hold a note or something like that. This is just making you have a mental note of your health. So you have the king of swords here and you have the sun. And you know that something is really, really positive. You know that something is good news or something like that. There's something that's not in this, this bad state anymore. I do feel like something is quickly changing, whether you could be healing your heart um, spiritually or emotionally. You could be going through like some type of breakup or something like that. And this is also this is also um, the angels too showing you this. So I do feel like there's something going on with your heart could also be your lungs could also be kidneys too. Um, that's really, really good for you. You do have. OK, so there was something that you pushed away. Something that you pushed away from, whether this is from the table and something is improving your heart or your lungs really, really good. There's a need for you to take note in that. Oh, wow. Somebody is, is improving like heart. When I say heart, like anxiety. So you're not hella anxious. And this could be this could be due to your, you not talking to a person um, anymore. You pushing someone away or you pushing some type of energy away. Or this could also be an activity that you used to doing. You're stopping stopping doing that for some type of new change new life rebirth something like that all right so there's some type of new change rebirth coming in yes yeah, so, and this changes everything this newfound health that you're realizing because you're reminiscing on how something used to hurt or how you you weren't able to go that far and now you're like wow i'm able to go this far for some of you guys like try it go running Go running and see how far you, you go or how fast you're able to move now. Or sing a song and see how, how long you're able to hold a note now or something like that. Um, tell me more about lurking, stalking, and watching. All right, yeah, you have the hermit. Okay, so this, this is this energy of this person. This could be you. And this, this is given like the best parts. Okay, so somebody is watching you just steadily grow and steadily become wise and it's almost like that you are giving the best parts of your story so this this definitely could be somebody on social media because that is usually where we give the best parts of our story we don't give all of the juicy details of our story so somebody is watching the best parts um of your life i do also feel like a person could just see you but at first they see you starting out and then they see you kind of looking like you've possessed something, looking like you have something, looking like money. For real, for real. All right. Yeah, you have this emperor. So somebody sees you on top and it's almost like a person is is watching you live your best life. I know it doesn't feel like that because we just went through this whole thing, but it's almost it's like somebody is watching you live out your dreams, like live out your best. Okay. You have this. I feel like a person could be watching you and they feel like they're going through this tower. Um, somebody feel like you're so wise. Somebody also goes to you for a lot of um, wisdom. Um, it's a person who knows that something was a tower. Knows that it was a false foundation. 
And this is of someone who's watching you for like enlightenment and they need to talk to you and they, I feel like they have a hard time saying what they want to say. They know that something is a tower. They know that something is pure destruction, pure chaos, a false foundation, but they have a hard time moving away from that tower. They have a, they're in the five of cups where they're remembering the tower and they're kind of thinking like, okay, well, at least the tower, at least I was, at least the tower had heat. At least the tower had food there. At least the tower had someone to talk to. At least it's kind of given like that that they're kind of like um compr not compromising. What do I want to say? Bargaining with this new reality with when a person has to turn around. Maybe these two cups are not the cups that maybe they're not fun cups. Maybe they're not cups that they want to impress. You know, people want to be around people that they want to impress to kind of validate some type of, validate something inside of themselves. So maybe this is not the people who they wanted around them. Maybe this is not what a person wanted. But they're like, well, at least the tower, at least in the tower, we laughed a lot. Well, at least in the tower, we... So I do feel like there's a person who is having a hard time moving forward from it or moving away from this type of um, false foundation and they like talking to you, but they still are stuck in that in that same position. They're in this position of lack. This person is given like this energy of lack, and they're so impressionable. <clears throat> yeah, you have the devil card. Right now, they're in their own stuckness because usually the, the knowledge is supposed to set you free. But when you know exactly where you are and you know exactly what's happening, you start making these choices. That is a true that is a choice for you to be enslaved in something. And think about when the way to really enslave a people was to make them feel like that it was better being a slave. To make them feel like it was some perks being a slave. To make them feel like that, you know, without the masters, then the masters is taking good care of them. Without them, who would feed them? Who would talk to you? Who would, you know, you need to be here. So I do feel like that that's that energy where a person could definitely be looking towards you or looking to you for some type of wisdom. You are coming out as the hermit card. They don't know how to get out of it. They don't know how to be the hermit and go with that. And I do like, I feel like a person, you could be attracting a lot of people who could be coming towards you that just don't know how to get into that hermit energy. They don't know. They know how to look at the tower and know exactly what it is and then make accommodations for it. And get into it as well. And get their hands dirty as well too. And get all up in. I do feel like that there's a person who has this. this. Um, they need to strengthen their faith muscle. Because their faith muscle could definitely be weak. About what is to come for them. Or the best is in front of them. Not behind them. This is the person who's thinking like. The best is behind them and not in front, all right? So that is your reading. I hope this reading resonates. If it does, make sure you give this reading a big thumbs up and make sure you guys are subscribed. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.